I'm David and this is Sutton. Yep. And we're going to show you how to build one of these rocket stoves. Tune in as we knock one of these bad boys out in about an hour. Hey, don't come out here, please. You're about to fall. Now that we have everything cut, we're able to fit it up. And what I did with this is used a little bit thicker aluminum um, since I didn't have any steel available. So this is quarter inch, four by six box tube. And now that we used a bandsaw to cut it, basic non ferrous blade, it's about 15 bucks off Amazon. I have the fruit uh, chop saw blade. It's a little more, so it's about 50 bucks, but it cuts all this aluminum great. One trick I will tell you, um, and one thing that I use a lot is a wax to protect the blades. This is a stick wax made by Castrol. And I'll tell you, the reason why I use that is because we also have a powder coat facility and I build a lot of products for various marine industries. And although some say to use WD-40 or some other lubricant for us, that can inhibit the adhesion of the powder coat so with the stick wax it's able to be wiped off pretty easy uh, we're going to sand the joints where all these butt up and then we're going to start the TIG weld This is a finished product. Took about an hour to build, maybe a little less. We just put some pieces of Cypress chunk that we had from from building our workshop. As you can see, it's taking off pretty quick. We're gonna try and cook some coffee this afternoon. It's 90 degrees here in South Carolina, but we're gonna see what it's got. Yeah. 
So, hey guys. So we got the fire done. Got the coffee cooking. This is the fire inside of it. And this is the air. Thing where the air goes in. This is how we start the fire with this that one and this lighter. Yep. I'm gonna let y'all see the fire cook. Comment down below and subscribe and hit the bell. Bye.